Okay, so you will run around the corner from your headquarters. Right around the corner from the front door, so to speak. Mm hmm. Home. Any more cultists around? No, you have not seen a sign nor hair of cultists since. Awesome. Uh, I head straight in. All right, as you round the corner and nearing the front door, you see uh, Bartleby, your drunken wizard, is sitting outside with a blanket, napping around the side door. Asleep again. Huh? Huh? You actually woke him up. Bartleby, you need to be careful about napping outside. You're going to catch your death of cold again. Cold? Ah. Uh, what? Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry. Who? What? Bartleby, if you're going to nap, do it inside. Oh, buddy, if that were true. Oh, man. I wish you instinctively notice that Bartleby is very, very clearly spoken today. Oh, dear. Uh, hey, you don't uh, look so good, guy. What's your problem? Uh, nothing. I've just come to a very sad realization. And um, what's that, friend? You don't know who I am, do you? Uh, I've seen you around before, I'd say. Uh, you're Bert from accounting, aren't you? No, oh. no, but that's all right. I. Oh dear. Can I uh, help you with something? Uh, yes. I need to head to the guild. The guild. The guild. Um. Sh sorry, pal. It's not ringing a bell. Okay, uh, the Adventurer's Guild is not ringing a bell. Oh, duh. Um. Maybe, um. Shoot. Oh, I think that little Harfling guy. Oh, yeah. I heard about it. Oh, I really, I, I can't tell you much, guy. I'm sorry. Okay. Um. Do you happen to know who owns this building? Just... Oh, uh, no one yet, uh, we're, uh, guess hoping for someone to take it soon, it's a nice building, we'd like to see it rented, someone moved in a business or something, I guess. Might if you, I take a look in? Uh, I don't think it's open, but, uh, if you're looking to buy, I'm sure you can take a peer around, you also now kind of notice as... This wizard has moved his blanket. He's kind of set up shop on this little corner here. You now take a better look at the actual headquarters building, and all the windows are actually boarded up. And as you peer onto the front door, it is in fact boarded shut in a letter of, uh, well, condemnation is, uh, posted up on the door. Okay. Um. I, w I wanna, I'm, I tell him, I'm gonna try and take a look around. I'm actually quite interested in the building. Okay, sure. Um. Get in, in contact with whoever's on the paper, I guess. Good, okay. good luck to you. Thank he you. Kind of gives you a very polite smile and a thumbs up. Uh, can I book it back to the forest? I, th I have a very good idea of what's going on. Your paper, once again, resonates in your pocket. Okay. I open it up. Same as before. Our particular key, and the words glow again on the paper. Go back home. Secret door, like before. The council. 
Always find the orb. Always. Don't panic. Okay. Uh, I want to try... I, I go up to the uh, front door. Okay. Stop, kitty. No. Uh, what, what's the note on the door? The note on the door says the building is condemned, and if you are interested in looking to purchase, buy, or rent such establishment, get in contact with the local homestead building association. And it gives you the address. Is the door unlocked? The door is secure. The door is locked. Oh. Does my key work on it? He does not even fit in the lock. Okay. Uh, would you like to roll uh, intelligence to help with some memory boosting? Yes. Go for it. Eh. Eight's actually still good enough, surprisingly. You takes you a while, but you now realize that this key looks very familiar to you as you've seen this design on the key as the same key that Sabrak used to introduce you to the council when you and Ivory were sacked and carted to essentially a wall. And he inserted this key into just the wall of a storefront and then opened a magic door, the only other known entrance you've seen thus far to the council other than your portals. Was it a particular storefront or just any storefront? Yes, you recognize it as a local storefront. You could find it easily. I wish to do so. Easily make your way around town and find the storefront. Alrighty. Uh, anyone around? There are people passing by. Would anyone notice if I just turned the key and everything? You're unsure, as when you were dealing with, I believe, Westerline Manor, Sabrak escorted you out of the door, out into the open public, with no one really seemed to take notice. Okay, I would like to uh, try and enter. All right, it takes you a minute or two to find the little lock hole where this key is supposed to go, but your key slips into this little lock, and you turn it. A locking mechanism of some kind is heard, and the form of a door appears in front of you just as before. All right, I want to go through. All right. I am removing you to the next... Page. Right. Don't panic. No panicky. All right. Step one. I need to locate your character. I forget where I put. All right. The council, as just before, you're right down here. Can you move your character at all? At the bottom. Yep. Good. This is essentially the council. You might want to zoom in. It is this large semicircle, as before. Well, this large circle, surrounded by these large columns and this very decorative floor, the emeralds and the nice, finely cut stones and such like. Mm-hmm. It appears the council seems to be just as usual. Nothing seems to be off. There's a few tables materialized here and there, and a few more desks. A few people walking about here and there. Some you recognize, some you do not. All right, Scape, go and talk and mingle as you please. I would like to... Do I see Vivian anywhere? It takes you a minute to glance around, but you do in fact see Vivian walking over here. This is Vivian. You do see her. I would like to, um... Wait, are you just looking for key people? Because I can flat out tell you who you see, because this is not a large room. Yeah, I I'm looking for individual key people. Okay. This There's a tiefling over here at a desk. This is, you notice this guy to be Relic. He is doing busy work. 
Mm -hmm. You do see Vivian walking over here. Mm -hmm. In the far back, you see this little short halfling guy doing work and chatting with some sort of monk. These are the only recognizable people you see. The other people look like this, you know, your average adventure goers and your people you've seen around the council doing work and such like, as well as three guards, as usual, standing at the back. Right. Okay, I would like to um, approach Vivian. Okay, she is actually walking over towards this table, so you will actually catch her before she gets there. Right. Excuse me. She eagerly turns around. Oh yes, hi, how can I help you? Uh, yes, I actually needed to talk to, uh, someone. This is rather important, um, and okay. I'm going to sound very crazy. Oh, try me, she says. I have been erased from history. Okay, wasn't expecting that. Yes. Um, that, I t that is a great way to introduce yourself to someone. I love it. Well, it's unfortunately exceptionally true. Uh, my name is Skaith. Right. I was exploring this particular region. I pull out the little map, the the dead woods. Hang on. Slow down. Sorry. Where'd you store the map? You didn't have it in your hand the entire time? No, when I, fo when I was bolting, I folded it back up in my pocket. With in Just like your pants pocket? My cloak pocket that okay. I have everything else okay. in. Okay. Um, you now find your map is gone. You, d you don't have a map anymore. I was like, oh, wait. Never mind. Do I still have that note from Sabrak? Uh, you do, in fact. You still have that black piece of parchment. Okay. Uh, okay, then, never mind, that map is gone. That was erased, too. But I do have this. It is a note from an individual known as Sabrak. Do you, does his name ring a bell? You, you see a glance of an interesting look in her eyes. Yeah, everyone knows the drow. Well, what? he... Are you affiliated with him? She seems cautious now. Glancing like, at this black piece of parchment you have in your hands. Like I had said before, I was erased from history. Before my timeline got rewritten, he handed me this piece of paper and said that if an emergency comes up, he would contact me. He went off to the gods know where. In my other, in my history, uh, I give her the details of what occurred up to my erasal, like the the orb getting dropped in a vat and such. Slow, slow down, slow down. That's that's quite a it's quite a story, and honestly, I'm not going to lie. It's gonna have a having a hard time taking this in, but I'm more concerned that you are dealing with a drow here. I certainly hope you bear no ill will. And more importantly, how did you even get in here? Uh, I pull out the key. She quickly snatches it from you. How did you get this? It arrived with my letter. It was in my, my letter. She... Does it still have the words on it? You can see it. Okay. I presume that she can't. I'm... Okay. I'm going to be very calm about this. How did you find the drow? What are you doing messing with the filthy drow? Okay. Like I said before, my timeline was erased. I used to be a part of the Adventurer's Guild in the alternate timeline. So was Savrak. He was a hero. He <laughs> was part of the guild. That's 
Okay, sure. Bear with me, please. Okay. You can do with me as you wish afterwards. I know you, Vivian. I know Lyle. I know Relic. In my previous timeline. And he had gone off to the gods know where. Like I said. He handed me this. And I gave her the rundown of where I was right. before this occurred. As hard as this is to take in, I'm still doubting on the fact that everything you have told me is easily the work of some sort of Dryder spy as well. She takes you kind of by the gauntlet, to which you now notice your little cosmic rock is gone. Is there anything I can do to prove I am who I say I am? I'm not sure yet. She hastily escorts you over to Lyle. Passing by the center of the council, you noticed a predominant pillar that has arisen out of the floor, which is not normally there. Resting on top of it is a nice little glass sphere with blood in it. call back to your note. Yes. Vivian interrupts this little halfling, which she says a thing or two, and this kind monk figure will kindly take his leave. Finbar, this guy says he knows us. This guy says he's been here before and something about a timeline being rewritten. This little orange-haired man with just his little spectacles. His desk is relatively neat and tidy. Okay. Uh. Well, g- g- greetings to you, Therm. Uh, m- my name is Lyle. Uh, uh, please. Uh, I, I guess tell me your story. I inform him of everything that's occurred, just like I did with Vivian, but As better now that I've said it before. kind of holding your little piece of parchment, it glows again, putting emphasis on the find the orb. Always right. get the orb. Right. Hmm, I, I, I think I, that seems very odd. We, we don't normally deal with any sort of time magic that that that's relatively unheard of but uh it it, it it does seem very very unnatural that uh a well a, a a drow is giving you this information I, 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 unfortunately, I, I, I am not sure how I'm supposed to take this in. Paper glows again in your hand. Practically on only the words. Find the orb. Always. I see then. Um. One last question. Then, before I... Stop wasting your time, obviously. I look exceptionally dejected. Um, in my timeline, that orb was never here. I point to the central pillar. They both- what exactly is that? They both look at you and look back at each other. Vivian chimes up. That is a blood orb. Uh, Like, as if you should know this information. She says, it's one of our many relics here. It possesses the blood of an ancient creature.
And unfortunately, you're asking too many questions for my liking. And regardless if you're telling the truth, we can't be too careful. And if you are, in fact, trying to spy on something or someone, that's not really something we let go lightly around here. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to need proof or something here. Paper glows again furiously in your hands. Do they notice the glowing at all? They don't seem to take any effect, but it is an obvious eminence of light. Like a flashlight lighting up in your face kind of deal. Right, right, right. Uh, do you think I could swiftly and... See, I'm afraid that because history was rewritten and I don't exist anymore, I don't know my spells. So I'm afraid I may not be able to shoot a swift flurry of ice bolts hoping to smash that orb. While you have a second, would you like to actually, you know, take note of everything on you and whatnot? Like you yes. now just noticed every like your map's missing. Yes. Okay, uh, roll a d20 to take recollection of yourself and everything on you. Nine. Right, that will actually work. The rolls are doing pretty good for you right now. You still have all your prior knowledge? You do know who you are, where you're from, who your friends are. You have pets and all that. Your previous mm -hmm. adventures and all that jazz. You still have your Dao sword on you. You still have your nice chainmail cloak. You still have your bag of holding. Pretty much everything on you is still on you. As far as you know, you can still use your spells. But now that you notice, you feel out of person, like an out of body experience, like you're viewing yourself through third person, like in a video game. But right. other than that, everything else feels generally normal. But you feel a little disconnected. Okay then. I would like to... To, to them, I say, I apologize for what I'm about to do next. They give you a puzzling look? I whirl around and try and shoot a flurry of ice shards at the bloodstone. Alright, uh, roll a d20 reflex for me real quick. Six. Not enough. Vivian actually grabs your arm, preventing you from spinning all the way around. Right. Now, here's where the fun kicks in. We are now playing reverse D&D. &D. You have given me an action. You will roll a d20 for your action. If the number lands on an even number, it will turn out in your favor. If it lands on an odd number, chances are it won't. Step one, roll a d20 for the ice. Even. Alright, you do successfully roll your ice. Uh, bad news is, roll me a contest of will in a d20. And aiming for even. Even. Alright. You do, in fact, fire off this ice, but it kind of just barrages these desks over here. Right. Well, now these people have actively seen you try and attack them. Uh... Vivian is going to do her best to try and just bind your arms real quick. Lyle is going to be stricken with fear as he was almost blasted in the face with ice. I'm going to... Do, do I still have a free arms-ish? You can struggle and try and gain one. She's trying to hold your arms behind your back at this point right now. I struggle. Okay, roll a d20. Odd. Well, you don't even know how it happened, but you managed to get it on free. Unfortunately, you're not quite sure what happened, but next thing you know, you see kind of just a flash of what you can only guess was cause. Next thing you know, your little halfling friend right here has claw marks into him. He has practically been gutted. 
as he falls out of the desk. Guards are now on their way, and have quickly surrounded you. You are now being yelled at. As a lot of these surrounding people are trying to take cover around desks, now noticing you have just gutted someone in the council. Well, um, everyone's yelling at you. Who are you? What's going on? And all that jazz. Vivian's doing her best just to kind of hold you still. I want to try one more time to fire off a bolt at the orb. Okay. First roll to get an arm free. Yeah, 17, nope. Well, hang on, since you rolled before I actually told you, would you like that to be for your ice or for your struggle? <laughs> for my struggle. Okay. In order. I can't fire ice before I get an arm free. Okay, now roll to see if ice even happened. 6. Alright. You managed to kind of knock Vivian out of the way, but in doing so, you another flash of claws, and Vivian's got a good claw mark into her. Uh, Ice kind of sporadically fires around, and you nail all three of these guards with a nice barrage of ice. I'll roll a d6 for me. 6. Alright. The guards are down to 70 health. Come now. Okay, yeah. so I'm... I'm... A flash of claws, right? Uh, uh, you are getting visions of claws as you were doing this. Is my individual... Do I still feel like me, or have I become... You still feel like you. Okay. At this point, Vivian unfortunately rolls a five and is more concerned that she was just cut upside the face and will kind of step out of the way. And these three guards will try and prod you a bit with their little spears. 17, 13, and a 20. They all hit your AC. Yes, they do. All right. What's the damage they do? 17 damage total. Mm. All right. So a lot of these people are now taking cover. Scathe, what would you like to try and do? Through I want all of this, this uh, little piece of parchment is still wildly going off in your pocket. Or wherever you last had it. I want to... I have an idea. Uh, I want to try and air push this one guy in front of me mm -hmm. into the pillar, knocking the orb loose. Okay. Maybe it'll smash itself on the ground. So, air push, go! You successfully knock this guy effortlessly into the pillar. The orb toddles a bit, but does not quite fall off. Okay. But this guard is not quite knocked out, but is certainly, excuse the phrase, knocked the wind out of him. <laughs> and I can still allow you to move if you would like to do so. I want to try and get closer, like, here easily. Just so I have a better aim next time. The paper once again flares up. Find the orb. It quotes on find. Oh. I will allow a minor action as now a tiefling is running at you. I want... 
how cl how much time bef can I time it right and roll out of his way up this way to this very next square? Like dive for the orb kind of deal? Yeah. I mean, he's he's on his way. You believe you can get to the orb before he's actually on you? Then I do so. And as this chiefling is pretty much just charging up what could be only guessed as some sort of fireball or some sort of glowing hand something, what would you like to do? I want to grab the orb. Okay. You effortlessly grab this orb, and another great flash of light occurs. Okay. You adjust your vision. But before you do so, you are drowning. Drowning. Y Lovely. You are underwater right now. Oh, dear. I is there a way to swim to the surface, or is it too you, deep? You believe you know which way is up. Okay, I want to try and go up. And I need your health back to where it was. Okay. He said I, they did thir 17 damage? Yes, he said 17, 17 damage. So that g gives me that out of this. Okay. You breached the surface. You are somewhere underground. It is dark. This water is cold. You. It appears there is 